What's going on fellas and welcome back to a brand new reload draft build on the channel. The reason I'm not continuing the last one is because we're implementing a new rule chain. I asked you guys, do you have any ideas on how we can improve this experience? You guys delivered. Our new rule from Adrian Chavez, maybe a new rule could be you choose whether you sign one person only or take a chance at the CPU doing the job. The upside to you signing is you get somebody you want, but the downside is you only get one. The upside of the CPU, you get the point. So with our new rule change, I figured we'd just start a brand new clean slate, mate. We won't draft a thousand quarterbacks in a row. I know a lot of you guys will be happy to hear that. In case you didn't see, we're doing it with the Bengals. I'm looking to replace Andy Dalton. I'm happy with Joe Mixon. I would like some extra help on the D-lines. Michael Hoover, pocket passer from Miami. He doesn't look half bad, to be honest. Some good linebackers in the first round. We're going to have a lot of work to do, man. I actually want to win a Super Bowl this time around. I don't want to wing it. Maybe even looking to get a cornerback somewhere in this draft, a high round cornerback. We have Martinez laying out of UCLA. Eh. Ricky Hollier, man to man. Wow. Want to see if we can get a bunch of man to man cornerbacks. Do we have any others? There's one right here, second rounder. Ah, <laughs> he looks trash though. This time on our relocation, I'm just going to do it myself. I want to use the Mounties. I've never used the Mounties before. Jerseys are pretty dope. And one thing we got to do before I forget is actually nerf the team. Start nuking the team, making some trades. I want to keep AJ Green. He's one of my favorite players in the NFL. Tyler Eifert's coming off contract. We need to re-sign this guy. But definitely, without a doubt, Andy Dalton will be leaving this squad. Take off McCarron. I'll give you a next year third rounder. All right, how does that sound? Next year third rounder. I might hold on to Gino till he's about 30, 31. We could always trade him next year. That being said, we're definitely going to need to draft Gino's replacement in this episode. We just need a little bit of youth, a little bit of speed. All right, let's start getting into defensive tackles. Start looking for Gino Atkins replacement. We start off in the second round, mate. We need to start losing games as well, fellas. <laughs> we can't keep going on this win streak, mate. Three and two. We're leading the damn division. We're going to trade away AJ McCarron. The Jets are interested in AJ McCarron, but we already took their first round pick. Let's go ahead and take their next year first round pick. There you go. Nice. You know what's even cool about this is they have color rush as well. Blue on blue. They don't have an away color rush, but that's not really a big deal. That one looks amazing. It's very simple and it's got the little Canadian thing on it. There you go, that one. It's pretty cool. I like that. I'm going to give you seven years. Thank you. I'm going to take off Bernard because he can be depth in case... Joe Mixon were to get tied. We'll give you a second rounder. So easy to finesse. Back on this DT grind though. Uh, this guy looks pretty good as well. Eugene Franklin. However, we are going for more of a man coverage approach. We also have Curtis Gilchrist who starts off with an A minus, B, C plus. We've got a traffic light. That's one thing we haven't addressed yet is middle linebacker. I don't know if I want to take one in the first round though. Maybe towards like the later rounds. See, look at this. This guy's a fifth rounder with an A minus and a B and a P minus. These later round middle linebackers are pretty crazy. These two right here. I'm really liking JJ Romberg. All right, one thing I've completely neglected it. Oh, wait, we have Chad Kelly at quarterback. All right, let's go. I completely forgot to check our guaranteed superstars. It is week 15, so we do get one this week. Miami quarterback Michael Hoover was awarded the Heisman after leading one of the most electric offenses in all of college football. Well, there you go, fellas. That is our guaranteed quarterback right there. It was always either one of those two quarterbacks. We finally have our guaranteed superstar. I'm just hoping this one isn't a 78 bust like the last one. I want to at least try and crack 80 this time around, you know? In close look here. So these are the two quarterbacks, Riley Foley and Michael Hoover. Michael Hoover was always the better of the two anyway. Michigan State, one cut. That is Le'Veon Bell in a nutshell. And then you have BJ Mason here following in his footsteps. He looks pretty good too. But we have Joe Mixon, so I've got to try and resist my running back urges. Curtis Gilchrist looks like an absolute animal, but he's the traffic light though. I could also go run support as well and move these guys to safety so that could help us in that kind of department. I'm feeling pretty happy, but let's go back to DT, man. It, there's no A's here whatsoever. This guy's got a B though, JT Lone, B, B minus, C plus, he's a prototype. I don't, it's pretty rare to find somebody with a B in the fifth round. I'm gonna chuck him on. See what I'm talking about? Everybody else is like second skill C. This guy is BBC. <laughs> I remember very vaguely one time Dustin telling me the formula to drafting good defensive tackles. And I'm pretty sure that is a good defensive tackle, but we will find out. 
All right, we are in the Super Bowl week. If I am correct, we should get another guaranteed superstar. Brendan Portilla takes home the All-Star Game MVP after his 19 tackle performance. Please tell me he's a defensive tackle. That would be absolutely amazing. There he is, Brendan Portilla. Wow, A minus, A minus, and a B. Oh, we have to get this guy as well, man. How many picks do we have? We have one, two, three, four picks in the first round. Brendan Portilla, the quarterback, the cornerback, and then we have one more free pick to use. Because this is the first time we are implementing our new rule of signing either one free agent or letting the computer do it, we'll try it out at the very beginning episodes. So I hope there's somebody good in there for us. All right, we are here. Sign free agents. We are officially the Mounties. That's what's up. You got to think positive in situations like this, don't you? We have Carlos Dunlap, we don't really need, I mean, we have Branch here, but he's 31 years old. We don't need a tight end because we have Tyler Eifert, we just re-signed him just then. The only use we're going to be able to get out of this free agency whatsoever is a little bit of trade bait. So I'm going to go ahead, get Ladarius Green, because that seems to be our best form of trade bait right here. Drew Brees we can sign very easily, but I don't think anybody's going to be interested in trading for him, you know what I mean? So he basically busted just then, big time. Big time bust. So we have the first pick in the draft guaranteed. We're going to need the second to get the cornerback. Then potentially even the third to the fifth to get the linebacker as well. Oh, geez. This is going to be tough. So we have the first pick in the draft. It's obviously going to have... Oh, we dropped... Woo! I accidentally simulated the pick, but we drafted Michael Hoover anyway. The only problem is we don't know what overall he is. You guys need a free safety. You're kidding me. Have George Iloka. We can just draft a free safety. All right, so we have the second pick in the draft. I want to go ahead and get a cornerback right here. I'm not going to simulate this pick, and we'll check out what that quarterback... I'm so spewing I missed it, though. Drafted. 79. He's a super... Oh, we already knew he was a superstar. 90 throw power, 81 deep, 84. He's not bad, man. The good thing about this is we're actually going to keep this guy for the entirety of this franchise, all right? We're not trading this guy at all. We're going to keep him, and we're going to keep on trucking, all right? Michael Hoover, the official Mounties quarterback. Now we need to go get that damn cornerback. So he runs a 4-4-3. I'm sold. He's pretty fast. But the good thing about him is three cone 20 yard shuffle are right up there in the top 10. That's what I'm talking about, baby. 80 overall, 97 Excel, 94 speed. That is so OP. 89 man coverage with that speed, mate. 88 agility. This guy is going to be a user killer. If I were good at user in cornerbacks, this would be my user right here, 100%. So Lane, the other cornerback got taken right before us. They didn't take that middle linebacker though. Uh, this guy looks pretty good right here. Tariq Jackson. I do want to get that middle linebacker though. Where is he? This is the guy right here, right? Brendan Portilla, run stopper, A minus, A minus B. I think you guys can all agree we need this guy. 79 superstar. That was the most obvious one though. You can't even get hyped about that one. We need to get a safety because I did trade away George Iloka to get the second pick. And I see Santarius Steel right here. Wisconsin defensive players are good. I mean, we can take Gerard Gessa or we can take Santarius Steel. And I think I want to take Santarius Steel. 77 quick, let's go! His stats aren't there, but he's a 77, so. All right, next up, we are in the third round after four very solid picks. I don't know what I want. Do we have anybody on the draft board still? We have JJ Romberg, Jermichael Monty, and JT Lone. I'm going to go ahead and take JJ Romberg right now, because this guy, I don't want him getting taken next round. <laughs> bro, make sure you edit that one out, bro. We can't have anybody seeing that. I'm going to go ahead and take JT Lone right now. I've got a lot of faith in this guy. We need a defensive tackle. First in bench, first in three cone, first in 20 yard shuffle. Also is the fifth in the 40 yard dash. He's a prototype. But from what Dustin has told me in the past, this guy should be pretty damn good. I actually did it! I drafted a good defensive tackle, bro. JT is ranked 24th in true talent. You drafted him at 108. This has got to be one of the best drafts we've ever done on the channel, hands down. Let's go ahead, take Jermichael Monty now, the sixth rounder. I drafted the other guy. He was a bust, but Jermichael Monty could save it right here. 77 quick. Jermichael is ranked 37th in true talent. You got him at 140. Not a superstar, but a quick development. Pretty solid stats all around. Hey, you can't complain. I'll take it. Wow. Dope. 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 Trash. 
But he's the only blocking one, though. <laughs> Bro, fullbacks are so OP in this game. Chris is ranked one in true talent. You got him at 172. He's a blocking fullback. I'm telling you, it's the same logic with the tight ends. If you get a blocking tight end, they have the potential to be 78. Let me see if we can pull a nice blocking tight end right here. There's no blocking tight ends left. Let's go pull one of these other fullbacks. I'm just curious, man. We can always move one of these guys to back up tight end anyway. Uh, which one was the best? This guy right here was the best. Lawrence Dennis. He's a bust, mate. 69 overall. Trash. I think that was our last pick, though. But that was one hell of a starting episode, man. We also have Ladarius Green for trade bait purposes from the free agency, if you remember. Then on top of that, we just signed some damn Mighty Goats. We signed Michael Hoover, 79 superstar, Ricky Hollier, the fastest possible cornerback you can draft, I think. I've never seen anything faster than that. If you have, let me know. But 97 XL, 94 speed. Then we got Brendan Fortilla, the middle linebacker. We got Satarius Steele to replace George Iloka. Then we busted on Romberg. Picked up JT Lone, the defensive tackle, 79 superstar. Jermichael Monty, middle linebacker. He wasn't too bad. He was a quick development right then we got chris logan the 87 overall fullback which is cheese and then lawrence dennis was just an absolute bust him and this other guy up here jj romberg disgusting mate that was excellent well let's get a recap right here so we have our official quarterback michael hoover he is 100 staying as the quarterback of this team for the future we didn't touch wide receiver we have joe mixon who will be starting over giovanni bernard i'm going to do that xp offline then we have chris logan the fullback tyler eifert we can trade away ladarius green and probably croft as well we've got Steele starting at free safety we're going to go ahead and move jermichael monty over to left outside linebacker we also added holia to the cornerback position which is dope jt loan the brand new defensive tackle which means we can trade away glasgow down here so we're going to have a lot of first round picks for the next Next one to start it off for a very first episode that was a very solid draft i'm very happy with it but that being said fellas if you made it this far into the video you are the real mvp hope the rest of your day is awesome and for me personally i'm out peace tell me pretty lies look me in the face tell me that you love me even if it's fake cause i don't fucking care